scrolling through social media, drowning in a sea of impossibly chic living rooms that look like nobody actually lives in them, the pressure is real. But the truth is, most of these spaces are as genuine as a reality TV show proposal. They're designed and carefully staged to impress people, but not to actually, you know, live in. Decor and the conception of interior design have spread so widely that we get lost in chasing the latest trends and sometimes forget the fundamental truth, which is to decorate with things that we truly love. Sure, it's important to have a space that doesn't repel guests, but a sprinkle of personality here and there is way more interesting than a beige on beige color scheme that looks like every single home on Instagram nowadays. So let me propose a radical idea here. Let's all try to decorate our home for ourselves and not for some imaginative audience. Let your home be a place to celebrate your weirdness, a museum of your mismatched hobbies, a testament to the glorious mess that is you. We're all drowning in a sea of genericness. The same generic artwork mass produced for Instagram likes, the same celebrity endorsed furniture that screams, look how much money I have. It's like the same aesthetic is devouring all of the personality out of our homes. But here's the thing people, nobody actually really wants to visit or live in a blob of genericness. What makes the space truly interesting to live in and to visit is a place that is personalized and is filled with items that shout, this is who I am. I absolutely love looking at the bookshelves in someone's home because I feel like that's where their thoughts live. It's like a curated glimpse into their soul. The nerdy sci-fi novels, the doggy of travel guides, the philosophy books they read. So I think it's just much better and probably easier on our mental well-being and, you know, wallet that we stop following trends and instead try to understand the underlying principles of good design and use these ideas to decorate our homes instead. Our homes don't need the latest overpriced vase or a paint job in the colour of the year. I mean, who even decides that? Instead, fill it with the stuff that matters. The concert posters, the travel souvenirs, that slightly embarrassing participation trophy from high school. These are the things that whisper the stories of our lives and not some generic wall print screaming at cliches. The most beautiful spaces are the ones that come from your life, filled with things you care about and that tell your unique story. If this video was interesting, you might want to watch my other video which talks about how to design a timeless home.